the word of God, God's word, yes. will bring us out. Yes. At this time, we're going to call our, we're going to call uh, Brother Robert, but bring the word. Give a hand clap. That's Sing a portion of this song. Run, don't back. Run. David putting the devil on the run. Yeah. I even thank God for Brother Michael telling us that um that it's what come out of us defiles us. Yeah. And then even Brother Tamar is telling us about Job. You know how he and how he loved God in spite of everything. Yeah. He yeah. still loved God. So truly, you know, I just um just pray that this this um this is what I'm what I'm about to say be an encouragement to you that it just encourage you just to run on a little further. Uh, Jesus, um, dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, God, thank just you. for everybody that's here, God. We just ask God that you just let this next yes. few moments, yes. God, let your words, let your will, let your yes. way be manifested, yes. God. Let yes. somebody's mind be renewed. Let yes. somebody be transformed, yes. God. God, we just want to hunger and thirst after yes. you, even the more, God. We yes. thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Truly, um, we're going to go on. Um, just want to give you really just one foundation scripture. It's going to be in Hebrews chapter 12, All right. verse 1. Come on now. Come on. All right. And um, when I was driving here, I was running a little late. I wanted to get in with Pastor to save some gas money. But <laughs> at any rate, I was running a little late. And as I was coming here, I was like, God, I. Uh, let me get a con let me just get something that was a confirmation of some sort yeah. that uh let me know that you know maybe I'm that I'm on track and truly I we're gonna talk about running. So Brother David said putting the devil on the run, I was like, okay, let's that's my sign. Thank you, Jesus. So um Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run, yeah. run, yeah. run with patience yes. the race that is set before us. Yes. And truly um, tonight, just if I can give you a, a topic, uh, run 
and finish the race that is set before you. All right. And um, some of you all, you know, I know a lot of people, several of you all are friends with me on Facebook or whatnot, and you know this, um, might have known that uh, back in October, well, the first of this month, October the first, um, one of my friends, uh, somebody I met recently in the, in the Daphne area, they was talking about they was going to run in the race, a 5K race, uh -huh. um, five kilometers. And in essence, um, five kilometers equivalent or reduce or equal 3.18 miles, I believe. Right. Now, most of you all know I'm not athletic of any sort. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what possessed me to want to run this race. All right. uh, but uh, I'm so happy that I ran the race because at the end of it, it made me understand when we read race, and race appears in the Bible actually five times. Okay. And, um, you know, a lot of times when we run races, you know, when we have a hallelujah party, when we have vacation Bible school, right. you know, we usually, you know, from here to maybe the end of the, to the door there, you know, you can kind of see it. You know, and you, you give it all you got, whatever. You know, you can sprint for, for that little short distance. But when you're running... Alone, when you're doing a 5K, 3.8, 3.1 miles, you can't just run wide open. You can't even see the end. And then, God, heaven forbid, if you know people that run marathons, you know that's 26 point something miles. You know, it takes some people, some of the fastest people, three hours, and that's 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 they really trucking it. You know, so um, that's some endurance. And you know, um, and I, after I finished the race, I was like, God, I picked up so many things. Um, I was, first of all, I was happy to make it without falling out, but um, when I, I, I picked up so many spiritual things, I kind of thought about my daddy. A lot of times when they go and experience things, mama and, and daddy, they, they learn different things and they That's take right. in things. Right. And I, I felt like, God, the next time I get an opportunity to speak, I'm going to speak on, on this race. So I probably could have paraphrased this and said what I learned from the race, but run and finish the race that is set for before you. So, one of the things, you know, I came up as I wrote this down, you know, not even knowing, you know, when I was going to get the opportunity to say it. But one of the things that I got, first thing, came up with 11 things. But one of the things, to, to, to run in the race, you got to enter the race. Right. You know, uh, you know you, people could just say randomly jump in and run, but they couldn't, even if they came in first place, they wouldn't have won. You know, you can't. You know, the Bible says you can't enter in as a thief or a robber. There's a, you got to come through the door. And you know, there's a right way to enter in the race. Right. And as, as people, people of God, we know how we enter. What is our access code? Our access code is Acts, Acts 238. Amen. To enter the race, we got to repent. We got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. And we got to be filled up with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. You know, a lot of times people are doing good things. Um, you know, build. I believe it's uh, Warren Buffett a couple of years ago had um, you know, a rich investment banker. Gave $30 million to, to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and they distributed in scholarships and whatever the case. $30 million! You know, that's a good work. But you know what? Even though that's a good work and somebody might say, man, he's doing good. You know, he's he doing something good. Surely he's going to make it into heaven, but he didn't enter the right. If he didn't right. repent, if he didn't talk to Jesus, he can't make it in. You know, another thing that I learned in the race, I guess number two, it's going to cost you to enter. When I, uh, when I filled out my little registration form for the superhero 5K race in Daphne, Alabama, it was a cost. It was, I believe, $20 or something to that effect. It's going to cost you something. And you know, when you come to God, you know, of course Jesus paid it all. We love that, and that's true. It's nothing that we can do to, to, to really pay our way or buy our way into heaven. But Romans 10 tells us, you know, Romans 12 tells us, you know, we got to present ourselves as a living sacrifice. We have to basically present ourselves to God. God, it's not going to cost you anything in money, but you got to yield all. You got to give God your everything. You know, you got to... You got to, as you present yourself a living sacrifice, you got to let go of everything. Yeah. You know, because you can't, you can't run in the race. You can't run in the race when you waited with sin. Yeah. You can't run in the race when you got weights on you. Yeah. You know, when you got, when you're walking in the flesh, you can't run in the race. Yeah. You can't run in the race, you know. And, um, you know, uh, number second, third thing that I, I, I got out of, out of the race, um, 
and uh, very popular, maybe in a bad sense, but there's a dress code. Right. <laughs> and uh, every race, and actually since that race, I've looked at other races, and all of them, you get a t-shirt. That's right. Yeah. So everybody that's in the race is identified by the t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, just, uh, you know, and, and when, when in the Bible, you know, the Bible gives us all kind of references about how we should dress holy, how we should look holy, how we should dress right. And I mean, if the secular world knows this, when you, you know a cop by his uniform, you know a, you know a, a prison guard by that uniform. I mean, you know, I went to a Catholic wedding, and then you know the priest by the long robe that he wears. You know, everybody, you know them by their attire. You know the punk rockers, you know the rappers, you know all of them. You can just look at them and automatically know who they are, what they're about. And you know, even, even I was thinking, as I was thinking about this dress code thing, even just in the normal world, I went to, um, it's probably about three or four years ago, I was in, uh, I got a ticket or whatnot, and I went to the court or whatever the case. I don't know what I think. I thought I was going to do. But uh, I remember, I guess God wanted me to see this, and, uh, and uh, it was a guy who had his pants sagging and, you know, just the old T-shirt. You know, the old, the classic look that, you yeah, know, the yeah. street people have. Yeah. And he was going to walk up in the courtroom, and the, the, the cop said, uh-uh, you, you can't come in here with, the, with no belt on, your pants sag. You, gotta, you can't come in with no shorts. They had some shorts, but he was sagging them. And you got to come in with some pants. And man's like, well, my court day, my time is right now. I got to come in there. He's like, you can't come in here like that. Oh, so right even now. if the oh, uh, unrighteous court oh, can man. say, you can't come in with this or that, well, how much more should we honor and respect the house of God, yeah. the presence of God? Yeah. My God. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and um, as I was thinking about going back to, you know, it's going to cost you something to enter. You know, as I was thinking, you know, you know, a lot of times people just, oh, Lord, have mercy. We be trying to run and we be uh -oh. burdened down with the flesh Amen. and weight. Yeah. My God. But you, you come to God, he wants you to just, he just want to pull all that off of us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we came to the house of God today. Yeah. God moves Then they shoot the little air horn, and uh, everybody start taking off. You know, get a get a beat going, and everybody up close. You know, uh, everybody, somebody right in front of you, somebody right behind you. But as you start going farther and farther, people start falling off. You may start slowing down. You know, but um, you know what? But the thing is, and I thought about this as a spiritual thing. You know, a lot of times people yeah. come in. You know, um, and I, I can say this for young people because I've seen this. You know, a lot of times young people will come in and they'll be with their buddy, they'll be with their friends, like, hey, let's go on and get saved. Let's get saved, you know. And they'll come to the altar maybe like they did today or another time. And then sometimes another friend will get slack or whatnot. But you know, in spite of whatever's going on, you got to keep on walking. You got to keep on walking. In a real race, in these type of races, like I said, you sometimes you're gonna be walking, but the, don't stop, don't stop, just don't stop. Keep on if you got to walk, if you got to crawl, keep on moving. Don't stop, don't let, don't stop. That's what don't turn around. Hallelujah. And another thing I, I notice sometimes, you know, 
you know, sometimes you, when I, when I, of course, I was new at this thing, you know, this is my first time, and I saw people of all ages, and um, people would fly past me, hey, I'm, I'm new at this thing, I ain't never done this before, but sometimes as I went on and I kept on pressing some of them same ones that passed me, I was passing them, I thought, wow, the ones that was flying. Think. You know, I, sometimes when I witness the people, to, you know, they're like, well, you know, I can't be like Pastor. I can't be like uh, whoever, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Sometimes they even folks that's unsaved. They don't, they, all they know is these big time folks. I, I want to be like them. Don't be them. Be what God made you yeah. be. You just give it the race and run. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, as I said, age don't matter. You know, and I, as I, even as I, well, I remember when I was filling out my registration, they had, uh, I think it had to be at least. I don't know. Well, I don't even know if it was a minimum on that. Because I remember, I, you know, some, I think it went all the way up. They wanted to know what different age grades you was in. And um, I saw some great, some really great hair people, but they were running. They were running. And, you know, and I saw one point in time, I saw a real young guy. And, I, you know, we started running around with each other, whatever the case. Like, how old did you? How many of you ran, man? He's like, oh, this is my first one. So, oh, I, I think he was probably like 13 or something like that. But you know, God don't care how old you are. Yes, you know, a lot of times people want to say, especially the young people, they want to say, well, I, I want to get older. I, I want to serve God when I get old. God don't care about that. Get in the right and run. Get in the right and run. Thank God for being saved. My sister got saved at the age of nine. You're not too young. Yeah. You know, even as I believe Pastor was preaching last week about Josiah, I believe. I believe it was last yeah. week. And Josiah was ruling at eight years old. He was running for the Lord. He did the things that was right in the sight of the Lord. Samuel was a young man when God called him running for the Lord. Jeremiah, they say, was a teenager. Even Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus, they said was a teenager. People say, oh, I never researched it for myself, but it don't matter. God can use you. And if you're not too old to be used by God. You know, think about Abraham. Abraham. Father of many nations. God told him that not when he was 32, not when he was 21 or 18, not even when he was 60 or 70. He was 75 years old when God called him and said, I'm going to make you the father of many nations. All God wanted is somebody that will run this race to the end. He'll bless you beyond me. Hallelujah. The other thing I noticed when I was running. There are going to be negative people on the sidelines. That's right. You know, after I think I've, I made probably right over a mile, maybe a mile and a half or so, and I, 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 I got tired, I was just walking. <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't stop, but I kept on moving, but I was walking. And uh, there, was, there was somebody, somebody, you know, we, we was in a neighborhood, a residential neighborhood, and there was a man sitting in his front yard, he had a large chair. He was sitting there, had his legs crossed, had his uh, tea or whatever, or something straw cup, whatever he had, drinking, sipping, and he looked at me, man, you're supposed to be running, you're supposed to be running, man, you ain't doing nothing. Oh, uh, that's talking trash. And you know, I just smiled at him and just kept on walking. Right. And you know what? A lot of times, when as saved, in the, in the saved life, the people that have criticized you often the most is the unsaved people. Yeah. They're even in the race. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah. They ain't talking about you. Yeah. Why, why you ain't doing this? You're yeah. supposed to be saved. You ain't doing that. Come but on. you got to keep on walking. Keep on running for Jesus. Yeah. 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 You know, and even uh, Revelation, just to throw a scripture out at you on that, Revelation 12 and 10 says, you know, I heard a voice saying in heaven, now comes salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. So Satan, he's accusing you now, but if you keep on running, the God is going to cast down the Satan and the accuser of the brethren. Um, on the bright side, there will also be um, positive people on the sidelines. You know, and they might even say, you know, there was some people just out there, I remember I passed by an older lady, and I guess it was her granddaughter, and they were just sitting there and saying, yeah, y'all keep on moving, y'all keep on, and they weren't going nowhere, but they were cheering us on. Yeah. And you know, I thought about, you know, when I reflected on that situation, I thought about when I graduated from high school, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, a lot of you probably know that we started the Bible Club, and I think even to Marcus and, and some of the other uh, 
uh, people at WS Neal is still part of that, uh, I think Tarisha and JW, a lot of them were still a part of the Bible Club, but that started uh, in 96, right before I graduated. And, um, you know, a lot of times we was, we was very forceful, we was very um, just, you know, happy to be saved. We would, we would be singing, you know, going down the hall, just praising God, singing songs, and people would just look at us like we was crazy. But I remember the night of graduation, I, I had two or three people that came that I thought didn't pay me no attention. You know, and they was like, you know what, you know what, I, I, I really appreciate you standing for God. You know, I, you know, they would they say that in front of everybody, but they still pulled me aside. You know, you, you keep on doing that. So the world, they would sometimes they'll pat you on the back. Now we don't look for the world. We don't look for the world to please or the the pat us on the back. But I was just wanted to say, God is sometimes used to one say to say good things to you. Yeah. Um, another thing I noticed uh, while I, while I running this race. Your flesh will want to give up. Right. You know, and I don't, I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you ever, I don't know if it's just me because I'm just, you know, I'm not really probably in shape as I need to be, yeah. um, but working on it. But I don't know if you ever ran so much where your side started hurting. <laughs> like, man, I, th I think it probably, I don't know when it hit me, but uh, it, it was, it, 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 I was like, man. <laughs> I heard, but but you know, I, I thought about Paul. He had that thorn in his flesh, yeah. but he kept on running. Yeah. He kept on walking. Yeah. You know, you know, when the fight of the side hurt, you know, the, 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 even in, in Romans seven and and, and 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 eighteen, you know, Paul said, "In my flesh dwelleth no good thing, no good thing." And that flesh is just just just, just sit down, just 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 take a break, just just sit on the sidewalk. But I, I kept on walking. I, I didn't stop. Help me, help me, Jesus. Give me strength, God. Give me strength, God. I want to make it to the end. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Another thing that I, I noticed on this race that I learned, on this natural race, um, there will be refreshing points along the way. And when we got halfway through, now we couldn't see all the way to the end. We couldn't see nothing, you know, because the race curved around or whatnot. So you couldn't see the finish line, but... After we got halfway through, it was people out there holding cups of water for us. Uh, like, oh man, and a lot of times when you see that refreshing, that's you <laughs> motivation, motivation going on. And that's, that's just like, you know, just like um, you know, just like um, just like even um today, you know, God has sent down those services of refreshing. You know, you might have been feeling disturbed and you came this morning, but I know if you were just seeking God, you left refreshed today. Looking at uh, Isaiah 43 and 19, it says, Behold, I'll do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. You might feel like, man, I'm not, whew, how am I going to make it out of this, God? I, I'm mad. I'm in the wilderness. I mean, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. God, what am I going to do? And then before you know it, there's an angel holding a cup of water for you. You know, there, there's God dropping something down for you. Here's his daughter, here's son. And you get strength and get nourishment. Another thing that I noticed, we're almost at the end, uh, you will get bursts of energy, especially as you get near the finish line. Yeah. And um, yeah. let's just read, just as I throw this scripture out, Acts 3 and 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins shall be blotted out yeah. when the times of refreshing yeah. shall come from the presence of the Lord. You know, as I got close to the finish line, yeah. you know, some of the people that had made it already, who already finished, yeah. way ahead of me, but they had finished, they was on, they was out there, come on, come on, come on. I was like, man, you know, I hear people, I hear people say, and you know, I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's true, but it sounds good, the Lord, we might go with it. But um, uh, they say, you know, people sing about my mother going to be waiting, my daddy going to be waiting. Yeah. And thank God they're not waiting over there just yet. They're here, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But but I thought about that, the angel's going to be calling, come on, come on, oh, son. Yeah. God's going to be calling, come on, you're almost at the, you're almost about to get your reward. Yeah. And man, I just, I just got to stand, I'm just side hurting, Lord, but I, I got to make it to the finish line. Yeah. Jesus. Another thing, last thing, last thing that I, that I learned about this race, uh, running in the secular ways as it, as it applies to, 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 our, to our Christian journey, it does not matter what place you come in. But when you come in, there will be rejoicing when you come in. And, uh, you know, as I, like I said, I only knew one person, and uh, this, this is kind of going back to the, 
to the dress part. And um, uh -huh. the friend that told me about the race did not get in the race. She got a shirt, she registered, but she did not run. And uh, when I seen her, uh, guess a week and a half ago, she had a shirt on. <laughs> And uh, she said, I'm tired, so tired of people asking me about this shirt and how was the race or whatever. I didn't enter in it. And you know, I thought about that when I saw when she told me that. I thought about how people sometimes have the marker holding this, but they ain't holding it. They know about it, but they're not walking in it. Sometimes they wear the flow sneakers dress. Sometimes they look at the sneakers, but they ain't walking in it. They ain't running in it. So you can't not only look the part, you got to be the part. So, so I got to pay for the I saw the clock ticking down, or ticking up rather, wasn't ticking down. Uh, I was like, Lord, let me, let me run on in. And I saw people, you know, I didn't even know these people. And they was like, come on, come on, you almost there. Just cheer your own. And you know, once we made it, once we made it, it was like a, like a party. You know, when people was there, hey, we got, they got the Gatorade, they got the water, they got food, they had fun and games and all kind of stuff. It was like a celebration. I was like, this is kind of like a little heaven after you done ran 3.1 miles. So, um, you know, and even that, uh, uh, last, I just want to throw um, just one last scripture out at you, or maybe two more. Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3, it says, Therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You know, and, and Ecclesiastes 9 and 11, I'm just paraphrasing. You know, the race is not given to the swift. You know, it's, it's not given to the strong, but it's given to him. We got to endure to the end. So, you know, I, I, I know this might have been a little comical, might have been a little on flash, but you know, you know how I am. But uh, I just hope that this encourages you to run on and hope that it encourages you to get in the race. If you're not saved, if you're not running in the race, I just want to encourage you to run in the race. If you are running in the race, don't stop. If you got to walk, if you got to crawl, keep on running and walking. Keep on moving into the race. Don't know the words of Thank you. Oh God. Thank you. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. Saint, we have a race to run. We got a race to run. And, and we need to have a made up mind that we got to finish. The Bible said the race ain't given to the, the swift or the strong. But he that endure until the end. It's an endure to the end, y'all. He that endure until the end. So I, I thank God I thank God tonight for all, all the brotherly work on, on the program. Say, so look at all, all the brotherly for him. Thank God, truly, I just thank God.